Since laundry is one picante, spicy, extra fiery hot topic here, I've got another good piece of information for you about your washing machine. I do get asked a lot about how to keep your washing machine clean, and while this can be done any time of year, spring is always a good time to do it because Hey, spring cleaning! Depending on which way you swing, you may prefer to use a DIY solution, which we have a video on, or if you find it easier to just use a product, I'll show you how to do that as well. First off, want to know why you need to keep your machine clean? I thought you'd never ask. Basically, it helps to keep bad odors away by removing excess residue, which means you're going to get a better wash with cleaner and fresher smelling clothing as a result. Who wouldn't want that? Now, if you do see that your clothes are dingy and come out smelling musty, this is a good sign that it is time to clean your machine. Many internet, folklore, blog site, web pages say that bleach in the machine will clean it, and I will tell you right now, it won't. Bleach actually can't do much, it doesn't clean because it's not a cleaner, it's chlorine. So it can deal with some bacteria, but the residue in your machine does not stand a chance. Plus, I never like to use bleach because you never know what garment it's gonna stain when you least expect it. So scratch bleach off your list. So the idea here is, clean your machine out regularly so that you can avoid that buildup and mustiness as opposed to employing the reactive spaz out strategy, which usually involves pulling out hair, late night Googling, pointing fingers, and detective work. It's really quite easy to avoid this and finish the task easily and with next to no extra effort. To demonstrate how easy this is done, I am gonna drop one tablet of a fresh washer cleaner into my machine. This is a good one because it is safe to use with any washer, top mount or front load. Simply place the tablet inside the tub of your washing machine, not your dispenser. Set your empty machine to run a cycle with either the cleaner cycle or with the hottest water possible, and then let your machine and the product do its thing. This is surprisingly easy to do. Now a few other quick tips on how to keep your machine in great shape. Leave your machine door open at all times when not in use. You guys know I talk about this one a lot. That way moisture can dry as opposed to linger in an otherwise unventilated space, which is the perfect dance floor for mold and mildew. Give your dispensers a good cleaning from time to time. Some are removable and can be washed with a cloth, some white vinegar, and a cleaning toothbrush. You'd be surprised at how gunky these get. Consider leaving that dispenser drawer open when you're not using the machine to prevent mildew and odors from forming as well. Make sure you're using the right detergent and the right amount of detergent. If you've got a high efficiency machine, you've got to be using a high efficiency detergent and you have to make sure you're using the correct amount because if you're using too much detergent, you're gonna leave extra soapy residue behind in your machine. Wipe your washing machine drum, door, and gasket after each use. I know, it's an extra thing to do, but I committed to doing this when I got my new machine last spring, and it has looked and smelled perfect ever since. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and I hope that you make some sort of machine cleaning routine so that you can get your machine smelling, well, like nothing, and looking beautiful. The folks at Afresh and I teamed up to teach you how to take the best possible care of your machine, so a special thanks to them. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video, and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.